Hey, superstar. <laughs> um, tonight, today, today's session is gonna be um, spicing some spicing things up, and uh, you know that what makes the guitar so fun to play. All the spice of life that brings life to the music. And um, we're gonna do it in the context of the blues. Here's a cool song. I don't know who did this originally, but it's been redone by, by a lot of groups. It's, it's called uh, Want you to rock me, baby. Rock me all night long. Steve Miller song. Come keep on a rockin' me, baby. Keep on a rockin' me, baby. Keep on that, that wasn't quite it actually, but the point of that is just to to get some blues going. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's that song or, or another song. So we're playing an A, and what I was doing there was I was just was doing A to a D, right? So it, it has that same feeling of if we did just like So that's just establishing our, our rhythm guitar part, right? Now, here we are, uh, we could do A blues, right? I really should have a pick with me. Sorry about that. Let me let me just grab a pick real, real quick here. <laughs> a pick real quick. I hope I have one. Man. Do I not have a pick? All right, doesn't matter if I have a pick or not. Where's a pick when you need it, right? So anyway, let's go over some techniques. Um, these are things that you just learn on your own, really. You know, you, you just play around. But say we're just, say, I, you know, we got the... And I was just, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just playing the scale, right? Right? Well, I'm trying to play it without any, any kind of spice. It's 
still sounds nice. But here's a little, you know, if I spiced it up a little. things I'm doing. I'm doing like a little slide. I'm doing vibrato. Vibrato is where you just go and you make this. You don't actually change the note. You just um, shake the string. That's now what I just did was bending. Bending is a whole uh, art form in itself. There's many ways to bend a note. You can bend it down. You can bend it up. You can bend it up to down. You see a lot of guitar players do, you know, a lot of vibrato. Like if you watch like BB King play the blues, he's doing vibrato all the time. You know, he's going... um, so the, those are a few simple techniques and also like the hammer on. Technique. So you got the hammer on, you got the slide, sliding up to a note. You got the, the bending. You got the vibrato. You got the, the uh, hammer on, the hammer off. Um, let's see. Those are some of the major ones. You know, the, the slide, the hammer on, the, 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 the bending, the vibrato. Um, let's see what else. And then there's, the, you know, there's the actual, um, technique of, of, building a solo, that's a whole nother thing, you know, um, but, uh, and I don't have a, a loop or anything to, you know, so I'm just showing you without, you could play the blues right down here too, it's actually easier to just play it. So, you know, this is this is a uh, guitar course so far for beginners. So we're we're assuming that you you know, you know, this, you're just starting out, and you're just learning some of these basic things that, uh, as you go along, you take for granted, become second nature to you. You don't even think about, you know, you know. It's like <clears throat> teaching this now. I have to go back to beginner's mind and I have to, you know, even, even what I just presented was probably too much. You know, it's like, what are you doing? What, 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 I don't, I don't get it. Right. But it's, you, you will, if you watch guitar, pl guitarists play and you listen, you'll, you'll, you'll hear all these things and you'll figure it all out on your own. And that's generally the way it works. You just f figure things out on your own and you don't, you know, you don't necessarily need a teacher to show you every little thing. And if you, you know, if you, if you can't figure it out on your own, then you go to a teacher. Um, but, you know, you just give it a little time, practice in your room, and you'll... You'll, 
you'll you'll get all the all the licks and then some maybe create your own licks um and then there's you know there's the the lexicon of the guitarist too you know what is a lick a lick is like a a little like a you know little phrase you know um and what's the difference between a lick and a riff um a riff as i understand it we could look it up but a riff is kind of like more like um you know, what What are two songs that a lot of new guitarists learn? They learn like... <laughs> Iron Man, right? By Black Sabbath. I believe that's a riff, right? Although some people would call it a hook because that's, that's such a cool opening that it hooks you. Um... But a, a riff is like a, a recurring um, phrase, whereas a lick is not necessarily a recurring phrase. Um, the other one that a lot of kids learn early on is uh, Smoke on the Water. Um, anymore <laughs> well no I do know it but something like that you know um, many people can play that by this point there are people that can um, play it in their sleep and and uh, you know, you can you can hear some incredible versions like this guy Stanley Jordan who do, does does um, tapping, plays the guitar like a piano, you know, like this. Um, just incredible stuff with uh, popular songs like that. Um, but anyway, um, Stanley Jordan. Actually, I was on the Big Island. I didn't go to see him, but he was doing a Jimi Hendrix tribute, which I would love to hear what he. You know, especially because I actually saw him play back in the 90s in uh, on Penn's campus. I think it's called the um, Chestnut Cabaret. It, what, it was called something like that at that moment. I don't know if it's still there. And uh, it was this really cool venue. And he was awesome. This is like over, I would say... It was about 30 years ago, maybe more than 30 years ago. And I can't imagine what he what he's like now. I mean, if he maybe he's not as good, I, I don't know, but he's probably he's probably that much better by this point. Um, anyway. So this 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 guitar course is, is for for newbies, really. Right. So, um, so you want to learn that scale, the blue scale. Right? And then you want to start playing around with it and start, start improvising. You know, get, get a friend to play along the rhythm part. And then you jam, right? Or get a loop loop pedal, or just record it on your phone, actually, and then play over it. So, um, and then you can learn, like I was saying before, you could learn the scale all over the neck, right? Down here, I 
actually. Um, let's think about that for a moment. I forgot actually how to do that down there, but you can you can figure it out yourself. So uh, so much of it actually is. Let's just say this. Learn the rules like a pro so that you later you can break them like an artist. That's a great quote from uh, Picasso to remember, to keep in mind. Learn the, learn the rules like a pro so, you can, so later you can break them like an artist. Uh, and that means that you learn the scales, you know, you learn... And then, you know, once you learn the scales, you know, somewhere down the line, you, um, you know them so well that you can blend them together and, and create something new, create something original, your own sound, your own unique sound. Um, so, uh, myself, let me just say this, I'm, I'm, I see myself more as a songwriter. But I, I love to solo, I love to improvise. Um, but I've been working more on writing songs than than uh, being a sol you know a soloist or a virtuoso. Um, and I think there's a lot to a lot behind behind that, but I don't see myself in that um, position or capacity. So anyway, I think that's good for tonight. That's a long video. And uh, I think the main thing tonight was the spice of the guitar, right? And we're gonna, we're gonna go over more spice. The, the, you know, the vibrato and the bending and the sliding and the tapping and the hammering. All that, all that good stuff that, that can add so much to your playing and enjoyment. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Rock on.